Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Of course, first of all, I just wanted to say congratulations and best of luck for everyone who have joined us during the last week because this was one of the most successful weeks we ever had in the Extreme Trader Forex uh, Signals group. As you can see, I'm showing you the results from the premium group itself on Telegram. As you can see, it was full of, of profits. Uh, Pound USD hitting 120 pips of profit. Uh, pound chf 30 pips of profit and of course as usual the losses are so small and tiny look at that euro and the only 35 pips of loss against all these good profits then the next day tuesday as usual tuesday is always always a great day as you can see pound usd only three pips of loss against all these profits which have been made on tuesday look at that 50 pips here and and there and we keep going on and the results are still great a lot of profits against very small loss and look at that uh, euro NZD 120 pips of profit, NZD CHF 50, uh, NZD USD 100 pips of profit and so on. Look at that, the results are really outstanding and thankfully it was full of a green week and one of the best weeks we have. And if we look at the uh, message, we, we received actually tons of messages. They are countless. Look at that. We have this message here. Uh, amazing weekly analysis and start of the week signals. Uh, amazing night with your signals and enter Salah's weekly analysis today. And look at that. All the profits that these guys have been made in just very short time this week. Uh, I'm very happy for these uh, people and I'm very glad that they are enjoying their experience with our Forex Signals and thankfully I believe we have reached our target to be one of the best Forex Signals providers uh, in all time. Yeah, really great and very happy for everyone who have joined us. So, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela or visit our website www.extreme-trader.com and hopefully guys, we will see you all there. So, let's start right now the weekly analysis and of course we will start with the Euro USD. Now, what we can see here on the Euro USD on the bigger time frame on daily candles, we can notice that the pair has actually right now reached the strong, strong uh, previous key resist, uh, resistance level and that resistance as we can see has become here a support zone. Right now, the pair has actually reached that uh, previous support zone. Let me show you the zone just to make it clear for you. So what we can see right here, if we start drawing from that part of the support zone, uh, resistance zone, we can see that this is the zone I'm talking about. It was a support zone in the past and it was a very strong one. And it's remarkable to notice here that the, mar the, the market actually was re uh, ranging at the support zone. And what we can see right here is a fake breakout from that support zone. However, when that previous support zone has been breaking out from with this bearish breakout candle, uh, the market has made the retest and it has become also another resistance. In other words, that resistance right here has kept its position as another resistance right here. That means this level is very strong and it cannot be ignored. Therefore, what I'm really certain of that the, this pair is going to actually retesting now the broken resistance and now it's becoming a new support level. Uh, in general, the Euro USD is actually going down. Uh, the dollar right now is rising because of the positive news about the potential vaccine to be released uh, within the next two months at least. They said that they are going to release it, I think, in November or the beginning of December. However, uh, the euro USD is actually falling right now because of this good news for the USD pair, sorry, USD currency. Therefore, what I'm expecting now that the pair is going to retest that broken resistance for making the pullback and then eventually it's gonna continue the fall however remember we are on the daily candles so we are talking about at least seven or eight days here so therefore this week we are going to trade the pullback of the euro usd when it's going all the way up again to retest the broken support level therefore zoom again we can notice that the pair is as i told you has entered this zone and that is the nearest week uh, to the breakout candle therefore this is actually the perfect time to start buying the euro usd and we can keep the trade running until it hit that previous support level so we are talking about uh, actually 113 pips hopefully gonna be a good profit therefore euro usd is actually good for buying right away uh, euro usd is good for buy now on 1.16201 
I believe the reverse is gonna be immediate and the target is gonna be right here at the previous support level so we're talking about exactly 100 pips by the way remember I'm on daily candles just to make it clear this is the 4 hour time frame and that is gonna be our target almost yeah 93 pips because the current price has already reversed on that previous support level so therefore the tech profit level is gonna be 1.17247 let's just make it more clear all right and for the safe zone it's gonna be ranging at least until that previous support level so the safe zone is gonna be for 55 pips and again uh, these trades should be enough at least for I don't know for uh, hopefully until uh, Wednesday until I release the new uh, midweek analysis video and we can actually share uh, a newer signal so there goes your signal for the euro USD hopefully it's gonna be good and by the way uh, we can see that already here we are having a double bottom oh sorry a double wicks at this at uh, this uh, two candles double wicks is usually a good price action indicating a, b a bullish reversal uh, again uh, the double wicks is look looking like that when you have two candles with long tails at the bottom or not long tails I mean where we when you just have a tails like that or wicks if you want to say uh, usually these are a good indicator for a bullish reversal so therefore uh, I'm sending the signal to start buying the euro USD right away at the opening on Monday now let's look at the pound USD the pound USD is very similar to the euro USD right now as you can see the pair has reached this previous support level that support cannot be ignored a strong key support level and that strong key support level is gonna keep its position again as a support then not to mention of course that the pair currently is retesting the broken resistance on 1.27419 uh, if I'm not mistaken euro sorry the pound USD is gonna continue all the way rising until it hit that previous resistance and from that point it's gonna continue the fall the reason I'm saying that is in general uh, the pound USD is actually facing right now a double top pattern and therefore we can expect from the pair to uh, continue not double top pattern sorry sorry because actually we can see we can see that the pair is reversing from that strong resistance level or resistance zone therefore the general direction is going to be for the, for the fall however because we are analyzing on the daily candles I don't think this fall is going to happen right away the pair has to for uh, sorry to rise a little bit more retesting that broken resistance uh, uh, sorry um, retesting that uh, resistance again and then it's going to continue the fall so therefore uh, pound USD let me just delete this mess here yeah okay that's better by the way looking at the daily at the weekly candles as well we can see here this support level here is definitely gonna keep its position here as a support so definitely the next candle remember I'm on the weekly candles guys the next candle <coughs> is gonna be green that's for sure and the next one is gonna be red so that being said uh, let's just uh, see where we can start buying the pair actually we can start by the pound USD right now buy now on 1.27419 exactly where the current price is and keep the trade running until it hit that previous resistance right here so therefore the tech profit level is gonna be 1.29627 and for the safe zone the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside that support zone like that so yeah for almost 72 pips uh, even though I don't think it's gonna even enter the safe zone I think it's gonna continue the rise right away and let's see what will gonna happen on Monday so we're looking for a profit of almost 223 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all let's take a look now at the AUD USD of course very similar to the other pairs Euro USD and Pound USD uh, AUD USD is right now retesting a broken a strong uh, key resistance level look at that we had here a resistance one and right here a resistance two and here also resistance number three and right now the pair is at absolutely the best level for the buy because it's retesting the broken resistance as I, as I just said therefore uh, this also the price action right here 
Uh, those who are following me for a long time, of course, they know that this is my very favorite price action for the bullish reversal, uh, especially after seeing all these red candles. Now is the right time for buying the AUDUSD. This candle right here, when you see this candle on a support level, you should realize that the market most likely is indicating that it's going now to, for the bullish reversal. Therefore, I believe that the, the AUDUSD is going to continue the rise until it hit that broken support level. Therefore, AUDUSD should be good for the buy right away on 0 0.70207. And for the tech profit level, it's going to be, of course, right here at that previous uh, previous nearest support, uh, the broken support, of course, which is 0 0.71885. Now for the safe zone, it's going to be how many, let's see how many pips is the profit. Uh, how, almost 167 pips, hopefully we'll make them all. And for the safe zone is gonna be of course ranging at that previous support level so we are talking about 57 pips of the safe zone again i really doubt that the pair is even gonna go below that level i think the pair is gonna con uh, reverse immediately and go all the way straight to the take profit let's look right now at the usd cad so for the USD CAD, as you can see, the pair has reached the strong key, uh, a strong key resistance level. Look at that. This is the resistance level right here. And remember, I am on the daily candles. So what we can see right here is we have a previous resistance right here and there. That resistance has recently become a, a previous support. And right now, after the rise here, the pair is definitely going to fall after testing that broken resistance level. Therefore, let me just delete this and let's go right here. And I believe we're on Fibonacci 38.2, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, we almost uh, between 50 and 61.8, which is fantastic. Actually, this is the best level to start shorting the uh, AOD USD. However, I believe we might need to wait, to wait a little bit more for the AUD USD to rise a little bit more to, ri to reach uh, Fibo 61.8 before we start shorting the pair. Therefore, um, like that exactly like this just to be sure it's the best signal i can give you and like that perfect so aud usd is gonna be good for the sell on 1.34342 because as i said i think it's gonna uh, rise a little bit more just to hit the fibo 61.8 before it's gonna be uh, good for the short and this is the safe zone the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 55 pips and I think that's fair enough. Just like that. And for the deck profit level, it's going to be of course at that previous resistance level which has just been breaking out. And I'm going to set it on 38.2. So we are looking for almost 165 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them all again. Uh, tech profit is going to be 1.32750. So again, hopefully it's going to be a good signal and we will make some good profit out of it. Let me just delete that. Now looking at the USDGPY. USDGPY, however, as we can see right now, is actually ranging on a previous support zone. Look at that. The pair is rising right now after this double bottom. And we can, we can see that the pair has reversed right here on that previous resistance. And the pullback has just been completed. And that broken support level has just been retested. And the price action here indicating that the pair is going to continue the rise. Therefore, the USDGPY is actually good for the buy right away. So buy uh, now on 105.562. Because what we can see right here, my friends, is a previous resistance level. Just like that. So that is the previous resistance level. And this candle right here is a bullish breakout candle from that resistance. And we can see that here is the nearest support to the bullish breakout candle. Therefore, that support level is definitely going to keep its position as a support. That's the reason I'm giving the signal for the buy right now. And we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit that previous resistance on 106.235. So therefore, the target is going to be right here. Exactly right here. So we are looking for actually more higher than that. Uh, we can focus actually on that previous support right here. So actually maybe even the higher one. We cannot of course select randomly. Let me just check one second. 
I need to be sure uh, let's go back to the daily candles oh yeah definitely is the, the USD GPY is gonna continue the rise all the way until it hit that previous resistance yes definitely right so it's like that actually my eyes focusing here on that previous support level and that support level and of course which was here a previous resistance that's why it's gonna be retested again and the pair is gonna continue the rise after creating here a double bottom pattern therefore uh, the target here is gonna be ranging for almost 133 pips of profit hopefully we'll make them all 106.904 is our target from buying the USD GPY and of course the safe zone oh, come on and the safe zone is gonna be ranging of course at the bottom of that support level just like that so we're talking about uh, let me go back to the four hour time frame so yes that's more fair that's just more like it exactly that's that's gonna be our safe zone exactly like this so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for 61 pips and again I think the uh, USDGPY is gonna continue the rise immediately it's it's not even gonna fall down maybe to reach that support level only but I think that's it because we can see that in the same level of that previous support we had a very strong key support level here and it was a strong key support zone as well therefore uh, sorry key zone so key zone it was a st strong support zone and therefore I really do highly doubt that the pair is gonna go below that support level and is, uh, in the end is gonna continue the rise now let's look at the USDCHF now the USDCHF uh, if we draw a Fibonacci retracement has actually reached exactly the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement retesting that broken support level therefore uh, USDCHF is definitely good for the sell right away so USDCHF is for the short right now on 0 0.92873 we have to start short the pair exactly at the opening on Monday exactly right here and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging until that previous support level I think it's going to be short maybe oh yeah okay 67 pips I know it's a lot but however that's the analysis it, this is what uh, the market is giving us and of course the tech profit level is going to be good also uh, at the bottom of that previous support level what I'm th expecting from the USDCHF is going to continue the rise however of course not right away it's going to reverse after hitting 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and then it's going to continue the pullback hitting that previous support level and then going to continue the rise so perhaps the signal for the next week is going to be for the short for sorry for the rise or for the buy on USDCHF at the take profit level is 0 0.91817 so again hopefully it's going to be another good signal and we will make good profits out of it now let's take a look at the gold now the gold actually has reached a previous support uh, level as you can see right here however the pair is seems for good for the the short uh, the gold has already made, made the retest here for the broken support level and this red candle here indicating that the market seems like it's gonna continue the fall therefore what we can hope for is another retest for that uh, resistance level after rising for another 134 pips hopefully it's gonna actually retest that broken resistance not broken resistance sorry it's gonna create another attempt of that resistance so we can short the gold again here on resistance number two because right here we have resistance number one uh, all in all the gold is uh, falling right now and of course that is due the news about the possible uh, vaccine to be, to be released within the next two months and of course um, um, the elections in the United States especially that it's already started and uh, the next debate, debate is gonna happen this coming Wednesday uh, between Mr. Trump and Mr. Biden therefore all of that of course affecting the gold and I think the next two months is gonna be very uh, critical for the gold and in my from my point of view the gold is gonna continue the fall until it hit that broken resistance level on 1821 and let's really hope that the gold is gonna continue the rise after hitting that previous resistance because if it failed 
then the gold is going to continue the fall all the way to hit that previous support level on 1673 and that's that's not going to be good for the gold and it's going to be a big disappointment actually after the gold has reached the highest ever ever in, in its history and it's going to be actually a major drop for the gold which really we don't want to happen therefore let's uh, see what will can happen therefore i'm giving this week the signal for shorting the gold sell the gold on 1872.37 and of course our safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 160 pips i know it's a lot however this is gold we cannot give a safe zone of just 40 or 50 or 60 pips for the gold uh, the gold um, is critical and very uh, sensitive of course my friends and as the safe zone is very high also the tech profit hopefully the tech profit is going to be very high for almost 513 pips hopefully gonna be in a good profit so take profit level 1821.57 there goes your signal for this week and i really hope it's gonna be another good and profitable week because the last week was just amazing and thankfully all the signals have went directly in that profit level and I really hope uh, the next week is going to be very good as well as the last one. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.